Nubé, vite, Nubé. All right, so the moment we've been waiting for. Uh, today we're taking the uh, honey supers off. Um, and I know there's not a ton of uh, extra honey in there. Gotta leave, uh, I don't know, about 70, 60, 70 pounds of honey for, uh, for the bees. Um, but uh, I, sh I should get uh, a little bit of honey out of there uh, uh, anyway. So we're, uh, we're set to jet here. Uh, this is going to be a uh, top high feeder for the uh, sugar water. Smoker's fueled up. Um, we're also going to be uh, putting on a uh, formic acid pad today. So um, I've uh, built this. Uh, what you need is a um, just about a one inch. This is a little bit more than one inch. But a one inch uh, frame, spacer frame. That'll go uh, on top of the uh, the top super, and uh, this is a um, pad that's soaked in uh, uh, formic acid, um, and we'll put that just on top of the uh, brood box, and uh, that'll need uh, somewhere around 15-20 days um, to let the formic acid uh, get through the hive, work its way through the hive, and uh, kill the mites. So that's what we're up to today. Okay, so we've got our, um, our honey supers off, and I'm uh, pretty happy with the results. Um, this is the uh, queen excluder that's on there now, and uh, we're going to try and get a few of these bees to go underneath the excluder. And then we're going to put on our uh, formic acid uh, uh, patty, or pad rather. So then we'll put on our uh, formic acid pad, and um, I'll show you how that's done in a minute. So you've got uh, just underneath your inner cover. What you want to do is you want to build yourself a um, uh, about a one inch uh, square frame. This is a little bit more than one inch. Um, you've got your patty on top of a couple of half inch pieces of wood. And this is the formic acid uh, uh, pad that's uh, inside a perforated uh, Ziploc bag. That just goes on top. Um, and we're going to keep that on there for uh, about three weeks, about uh, 20 days or so. And uh, the formic acid will work its way down through the hive and uh, hopefully kill uh, any mites uh, that are on there. Uh, and another important thing to do um, uh, is just make sure that you remove your entrance reducer. And uh, this way the um, formic acid will uh, work its way down through the hive just basically through uh, ventilation. So it does need, uh, need a good airflow going through there. That's it. Well, we just got that honey off in time because it's uh, pouring rain now. You can see, lovely, lovely. And uh, I have I've separated the two boxes. I'm I'm pretty happy with what I got because um, as of last week they had filled maybe half a you know half of one of these supers. Um, basically, this one is pretty much empty, the bottom one, and uh, this one is is full. I'd say, uh, look at that, that's a beauty.
So probably, uh, I'd say I got, uh, well, close to 40 pounds, probably 30, 35 pounds, 35 pounds easy. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy. Not bad for first season. Beekeeper doesn't know what he's doing. Woohoo!